Hey guys, coming back to doing more of the Metal Slug series. I love this series, it's Metal Slug 2. Let's get straight into it because nothing more needs to be said. When I sat down to write my series of Metal Slug reviews, I was hard pressed to remember what Metal Slug 2 was all about. I had a clear image in my head of what being a Metal Slug game meant, but all the images in my mind were from Metal Slug 3. I knew the first one didn't have the sci-fi elements, but the third one did. So what was Metal Slug 2 about? What made it special? What did it bring to the table? As it turns out, I had this game all wrong. Metal Slug 2 is where the series becomes the Metal Slug that I love. It's where the sci-fi elements come into the gameplay, and where the plot as I remember it starts to take hold. It's also where you get to choose your character for the first time, thanks to the arrival of female soldiers Eri and Theo, to battle alongside the original duo of Marco and Tama, both of whom Player 1 can also choose to select this time around. In the original, Player 1 played as Marco and Player 2 played as Tama, and you didn't get to select a character at all. So right from the start, we have a big improvement, and it's very welcome. Uri and Theo are my personal favourites to play throughout this game. They have some cool animations that add a lot of character to them, and that lift these ladies above the guys in my book. At its core, however, the game plays just the same as the first Metal Slug. You move to the right, killing as much as you can before you inevitably get killed yourself. When you run out of lives, you get to decide whether to continue or not, and if you do choose to continue, you get to pick which character to play as. That's a nice addition. The game is just as long and just as intense as the first Metal Slug, but the stages are far more varied. As I mentioned earlier, the levels now include science fiction elements, so there are weird sections where you fight mummies and can turn into a mummy yourself. This change slows the game down and I can't stand it if I'm honest, but it is imaginative and it's a nice change from simply dying if you get hit with enemy fire. As a mummy, you get to continue fighting for a while longer and there's the possibility of finding a potion that will restore you to life, which means death in these sections need not be the end of the game. That's pretty cool. The music is even better than it was in the original, with far more atmosphere to it. It really helps to draw you into the game. There are also new vehicles to drive around in, or hop around in as the weird machinery in the mummy zone so aptly demonstrates. Again, this adds some variety to the gameplay that's very definitely welcome. Speaking of variety, it's a little jarring the way the aliens are introduced, but I'll take it. They are weird, they are more of a challenge to fight, albeit only just, but again, I'll take it, and they really do make the game feel more interesting. It's also cool to see the storyline change, with the enemies that you've been fighting all along now teaming up with you to take on this third faction. I like this show-don't-tell style of storytelling, and it really works even if the end sequence is pulled right out of Independence Day. Speaking of endings, the end of mission bosses have also been revamped. The ones in the first game felt a little bit static at times, but all of these bosses feel far more dynamic. They are imaginative, they are massive, and they are really great fun to fight against. All in all, Metal Slug 2 is where the Metal Slug series really finds its feet. While it was overshadowed by its own sequel in many respects, there's still a lot to love about this game. If you're new to the franchise and are wondering where to jump in, this may well be the game to try. And there you are. Like I said at the start, nothing more needs to be said than this is a Metal Slug game and it's a good one. So, I really did like this. When I was uh, first looking at the Metal Slug series, I couldn't remember what Metal Slug 2 was about. And the reason for it is, I put everything that was good about Metal Slug in my head into Metal Slug 3, but that's not where it all starts. Metal Slug 3, yes, it's the pinnacle, but Metal Slug 2 is where it all comes together. 
this is where the series really finds its feet and I love it for it. It's great fun. I really enjoy playing it. I'm probably going to go and play it again now. So with that in mind, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did like this. And if you did, remember to click that like button, share it with your friends so that they'll know a good game when they see it. And do subscribe for future videos because there will be more in the future. But until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching Game Hammer Dailies. I'll see you tomorrow.